with Douglas Rock. How did you enjoy the show? Very much, thank you. Yeah, very how's your night so far? Very good. Good. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and a little bit about your artwork? Originally born in the States, uh, but I've been in Ireland 46 years now, so I think that makes me pretty Irish yeah. at this stage. <laughs> um, and uh, I've been making artwork uh, for 30 years. Uh, I started as a painter. Um, I went into sculpture then, and the photography has been fairly recent, about the last 10 years. But I think I bring both the sculptural and the painting uh, sensibilities into the photography. Why did you stop sculpturing, and what made you want to shift to photography? What, what, was, your, what was your idea? What was your inspiration? I would still sculpt if I got uh, the commissions. Uh, the last large sculpture commission was only three years ago, uh, so I've been freed up, if you like, to do the photographic work exclusively in that time. Um, and I would paint again too, I just haven't done so in a long time, so I don't see myself as moving away from any of them, but, but the photography gives me a lot more freedom. I can get very intricate. I love Baroque art, that's why I love being in, in, in Florence. Uh, I love lavish detail, I love the pre-Raphaelites who of course harked back to Botticelli. It, it allows me to do uh, things which if I were to paint uh, would take me six months or a year sometimes per piece and they can still take up to 40 or 60 hours for each of these pieces to come together. A photograph like this um, is, is virtually straight and you know it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a capture. But uh, here we've got two people who were shot in, uh, in my studio against a white background and I've then placed them in Ferrara. And that would be more typical of the work I do. This woman was placed in front of a Mexican peacock. Everything in my photographs comes through the lens of my own camera. I don't scan any material, I don't draw anything else in. I wait until I've got it myself. Do you have any upcoming projects you're working on right now? Any exhibits you'll be attending sometime soon? or what, what it, What's next for you, basically? I do have a project that I started three years ago uh, that I'm finishing with my son. My son is a graphic artist, and he's working in the studio me, uh, with me two days a week. Um, it's, it's very dear to my heart. It's about somebody going through uh, a very big crisis in their life and coming out the other end. I've shot all the material. Uh, but I have to put it together and it's at least 25 panels. So that's something to finish. Um, and I'm going to be 60 in January 2014. I'm, I'm aiming to maybe put the 30 years of work together in one show then. So that's, that's enough for me to look ahead to for the moment. Yeah. Mm. You're on the cover of our last month's magazine. Yeah, which was much appreciated. Yeah, it's a beautifully produced magazine and uh, I keep going as you are. Thank okay. you so much. Can okay. I give you a hug? Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully. Thank you.